Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a closer look at the light coming to us from a Cepheid variable, especially when we're dealing with the Doppler shift of that light. It turns out, if we take a close look at the star, the Cepheid variable, in this case Delta Cepheid, that's our example star again, we notice that the star actually changes size. The star grows in size and shrinks in size, grows in size and shrinks in size, and there's an interesting relationship between the periodicity of the temperature, the periodicity of the intensity of the light, the brightness of the star, and the periodicity of the change in the velocity of the surface, as the star is expanding, the surface is moving towards us, we consider that negative velocity. And when the star is contracting, the surface is moving away from us, we consider that positive velocity. And so we measured that the velocity changes from 20 kilometers per second of the surface moving towards us and 20 kilometers per second as the surface moving away from us. And notice that's over a period of 5.4 days. So, if we then calculate that, if we, the way we do that is we measure the Doppler shift in the change in the wavelength of the light coming from us, what the wavelength is when the surface is not moving, we multiply that ratio times the speed of light and we get the velocity of the surface of that star. And notice that when we have the point of maximum brightness, which is also when the temperature of the star is near its maximum, that's when the star is expanding at its maximum. That means that it's moving towards us at its maximum velocity. Then of course, the expansion slows down, comes to a stop. So when it comes to a stop, we're about at this point right there, that would be zero kilometers per second. So the star then comes to a stop and then begins to shrink. And as it begins to shrink, so this is where the star is shrinking in size and when it reaches its fastest contraction, it's not yet at, at its smallest size, at that point it, it is at its dimmest. Then the star begins to get bright again, the contraction slows down, and then it begins to expand again. Notice it reaches its maximum expansion again at the point of maximum brightness. It, at the point of least brightness, it has its fastest contraction. So there's an interesting relationship between the contraction expansion of the star and the maximum and lowest temperature of the star and the maximum brightness and lowest brightness of the star. So notice that the, bright, the maximum brightness coincides to the maximum temperature and coincides to its fastest expansion. The lowest temperature of the star coincides to the lowest brightness and coincides with its fastest contraction. And so that's the way we can look at the variation in both temperature size of the star, movement of the expansion of the star and the contraction of the star, and the periodicity, the brightness of the star. So an interesting, an interesting type of star, the Cepheid variable. And again, the key to all that is, it's nice to understand all this, it's very interesting, but the key and the usefulness of that star is that the periodicity has a linear relationship to its absolute brightness. And so by looking at the period of the star, we can know how bright the star actually is, measure how bright it appears to be, and from that we can figure out how far the star is, which is of course for astronomy a key, key piece of information because it's the most challenging thing to do in astronomy is to find distances to things, and Cepheid variables help us do that. And this is how, it, how it's done. There's going to be a lag because you have fast expansion. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not yet at its greatest size at that point, that's right. Yeah, but there seems to be a lag to the... Is it? It's lined up. Okay. Yeah. What about the, the little tick mark you have between the four point, or 5.4 days? You mean right here? The tick mark, no, the horizontal tick mark on the horizontal line. Oh, 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 yes, there you go. I'll move the tick mark over, there it is. Yep, there we go. <laughs> the other one? Uh, yes, 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 yes. There, that's, yeah. Good point. Oh, and then you have the luminosity. Mm -hmm. the, um, the large and the small. The large is square on the graph. That comes on the next video.